welcome back to the Jimmy Dow YouTube channel and in today's video we're going to be doing a binder update for the Match Tax Euro 2024 collection. We've opened quite a few packs now and I'm excited to show you my binder progress. So if you're excited to see my binder as well then make sure to absolutely smash that like button and if you are new to this channel hit that subscribe button that way you'll never miss any future uploads from this collection and more. So yeah without further ado let's go through my Match Tax Euro 2024 collection progress. So yeah, so I'm trying this binder up there in a different type of way. I'm actually holding the camera so I can actually zoom in on the cards, etc. Um, should make it a nice uh, interactive experience going through the binder. But of course, this is the front cover. Um, obviously, there are three like, unlicensed teams, uh, being Germany, England, France, and Italy. So four unlicensed teams in the collection, which I know a lot of people are not happy with. But at the end of the day, that's licensing. It was the same in Match Tax England 2014, that World Cup set they brought out when they only had the England kits. So um, it, sw it swings and roundabouts at the end of the day. So if you are unhappy about it, then... Uh, learn your past collection basically but yeah here is the binder in all its glory and let's open the front page you're obviously greeted with the checklist on this side here lovely little uh, checklist or well, i say little it's uh, <laughs> there's a lot of cards in this collection and then of course you are greeted with the beautiful black edge editions page uh, we have got um five of the nine uh, the ones we are missing are Harry Kane, Memphis Depay, Perisic and Mitrovic. Um, so those are the only ones we're missing there. And then that'll be a nice full page of uh, Black Edge Edition cards. Beautiful little cards, of course. And let's turn the page and we're straight into the teams. Starting off with Croatia. And as you can see, it's a completed team. This is what we like to see. Look at that. Oh, the goalkeeper in the top left there, Livakovic. All the way down to the bottom of this page being Marcelo Brozovic. And so on, so on with the captain, Luka Modric, up there as well. And, um, yeah, graduated gem. So each team does have a captain, hero, and I think a graduated gem. Some teams might not have that, actually, um, come to think a bit. We'll, we'll see later we go through the album. Uh, but as you can see, that is a fully completed team to kickstart the, uh, the album. Uh, or binder, should I say, being Croatia. Lovely stuff. They are fully completed, which is good. And uh, quite a few other teams in this collection are completed, just as a heads up. Right, as we turn the page, we go to France, the first of the unlicensed teams in the binder. And we're only missing one card, which is Deo Upamecano. Here's the last one we need for the, uh, from the collection for uh, France. Other than that, we have got them all, as you can see, looking absolutely fantastic. So there is France, just missing Deo Upamecano. Uh, but I will be opening plenty more packs of this collection, so no doubt I'll pack it at some point. Uh, but if I don't, I'm sure I'll be doing some trades with uh, you guys out there and fellow collectors. Then we move on to the Netherlands, which is another fully completed team with a Captain Van Dyke there at the top and uh, some rather nice cards as well throughout the Netherlands of course. Uh, one of the dark horses would you say for the tournament or would you say they're just a, a normal horse for the uh, winners of Euro 2024 but there we go that is the Netherlands fully completed and we've got another fully completed team here Albania. There we go. Uh, really like the Albanian cards. There's a really cool picture on one of them. Look at this guy. Look at that. Look how cold that is from Ismajli. Absolutely love it. Um, but yeah they've done some really cool poses the Albanian Albanian players, so hats off to them. Uh, they're now my favourites for the tournament. <laughs> uh, next up, we have got uh, Czechia. There we go, Czechia. We're missing just the one card down here. Can't remember who it is. It's just after Jamelka. Um, but yeah, we're missing one player down here. Um, and then we've got all of the other ones, as you can see, on both pages. There we go. I do like how they've laid it out in the double page spread and the fact that each team featured do have a double page. Obviously, in the Match Attacks Champions League, uh, UCC collections, as it's now known, uh, some teams only have nine cards. So, uh, yeah, it's nice that all teams uh, are uniformed with 18 cards per team. Um, so, yeah, there is Czechia. Uh, just missing one card there. And then we've got Germany, fully completed, the host for the tournament with, for whatever reason, Oliver Kahn, hero legend. Uh, <laughs> he's the only hero legend in the collection, so no to Stegen. Uh, I don't know who the other German goalkeepers are. I can't name them off the top of my head, but yeah, Oliver Kahn is the keeper chosen for this collection. And uh, yeah, there is the second page there as well featuring a hero Jamal Musiala and a graduated gem of Yusufa Makoko and moving to the next team which is Portugal 
Uh, obviously, winners in 2016. There we go. Portugal is another fully completed team featuring the fantastic Cristiano Ronaldo captain card. One of my favourite pictures in the whole collection. Uh, I love the dynamic pictures like that where players are celebrating. Um, just a, It's just a bit more entertaining than just looking at them playing football, you know? <laughs> uh, I prefer them with um, a bit more personality. Or like that Albanian player uh, who's doing a cool little pose there, isn't he? Next up is Austria, and I believe we're missing just one card for Austria. Uh, there's the first page done featuring David Alaba, the man who pretty much plays every position for Austria. And uh, there's the second page. And the player we're missing, I know, I know it doesn't look like it at the moment, but yeah, we are missing uh, a striker. I think it's Gregorich uh, for Austria. It's uh, card number 17 for Austria there. Other than that, fully done, including graduated gem there, Adamu. Uh, right, next page, or next team, should I say, is Denmark. And we're missing two for Denmark. The first of... I think maybe two or three teams where we're missing two cards. And the first one is this one here, which I believe is Christian Norgard. Goes in between uh, Nelson and Huibier. And we're missing Yusuf Poulsen there as well. All the other ones for Denmark, as you can see, are fully completed. So there's Denmark. And we move into Hungary, the team with arguably the best names in the whole collection. Some absolute classics in here. I mean, Bournemouth, Milos Kerkes, such a satisfying name to pronounce. Gazdag, what a name that is. Even Shabozlai, Klein Heisler. Uh, the list is endless, to be honest. And then you just got Adam down there. <laughs> it's just, it's so good. Um, but yeah, there we go. So that is um, Hungary's progress. We have completed them. Fantastic. Uh, next up, we have got Romania. And again, it's another completed team right there. Love the Romanian kit, by the way. It looks absolutely superb. And it features quite a famous name, George Pushkash, Or the surname Pushkash being uh, the more famous part of it. Uh, next up, we have got uh, Belgium. There we go. Belgium is the next one. And it's another fully completed side. Absolutely sensational. The, the fully completed pages look so, so sweet inside the binder. Let us know what your progress is down in the comment section as well while we're at it. Um, so there is Belgium. Next up, we have got the Free Lions. And we're missing just one. And it's Kieran Trippier. He is the last England player we're missing. Other than that, we've got them all, which is uh, simply sensational. There we go. Lovely looking cards. Again, plain kits. I would have preferred them if they had them in white kits. Not sure on the blue, but it is what it is. Uh, as, uh, at least we've got England in the collection. That's something we can take away from this. Tops, because they haven't got the license to England, they could have just not included them. But that would have been catastrophic because we are, at the end of the day, one of the favourites to win the tournament. Um, so, yeah, there we go. There is England just missing Kieran Trippier there uh, to complete them off. Next up is Italy, another unlicensed team here. Uh, I think that's all four of them we've revealed now, haven't we? And uh, holders of the tournament as well, Italy. And that is a fully completed team yet again. There we go. Featuring Leeds' is Wilfred Gnonto there. And uh, yeah, there we go. A nice little picture of Federico Chiesa. Again, nice dynamic picture there is what I like. Next up, we have got Scotland. Absolutely sensational. Fully completed. Scotland, one of the home nations. Um, well, one of our home nations, of course, being in the United Kingdom. Featuring QPR's number nine, Lyndon Dykes. Oh, it's so good seeing a QPR player in a match tax collection. It just doesn't feel doesn't feel real because I'm too used to uh, match tax doing the uh, uh, UEFA club competitions. And uh, let's be honest, QPR will not be in there for quite a few years. So hopefully Tops eventually do bring out a championship collection. Uh, but there we go. There is Scotland fully completed. Next up, we have got Slovakia. Uh, yeah, I think this is Slovakia. Uh, Martin Dubravka is their goalkeeper there. And uh, yeah, fully completed. Milan Skriniar captain card as well. Um, yeah, Slovakia fully completed. I do. I get mixed up between them and Slovenia. We'll see Slovenia in a few uh, few pages time. Uh, Spain is fully completed as well. I love the Spanish cards. I've always loved the Spanish kits. Uh, the colouring, the red and yellow, just. Oh, it, it hits different, doesn't it? Their kits are always so, so nice. And, um, yeah, quite a young-ish Spanish team this year, you'd think, uh, with the likes of Lamin Yamal. You've got Gavi, Pedri, Nico Williams, of course. So, yeah, there's going to be a few young prospects uh, for the Spaniards going into the tournament this summer. And they are fully completed there with their beautiful kit. Uh, next up, we have got Turkey. There we go, featuring Arda Hula. 
breakthrough, no, not breakthrough, graduated gem. Uh, so that's a nice one there. We've then got a hero of Kukchu, Chanaloglu, Captain. Uh, some pretty big names for Turkey. And here we go. We've got some solid players, solid foundation there. Again, could potentially be a dark horse for the tournament. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Fully completed Turkey. Uh, next up, we are missing just two for uh, Serbia. And I believe one of them is Gudelj. The other one, I can't remember the name of, but one of them's definitely Gudelj. The other one is uh, placed here, whoever that is, next to uh, Captain Dusan Tadic, uh, just in front of Mitrovic on the bottom row there with Zivkovic and Vlahovic. Um, so a lot of itches here. Make sure you put your cream on when you're going to the Serbian page because uh, there's a lot of itching. So yeah, there we go. Just missing two for Serbia. Other than that, we are fully completed. Next up, we've got Slovenia. Again, missing two cards for Slovenia. Uh, no idea on the names of these. I think one of them's got quite a wacky uh, double-barreled surname. I think that one goes there, and then there's obviously one which goes up there as well. So, uh, yeah, there's Slovenia featuring um, Atletico Madrid's recent hero, Captain Jan Oblak. Uh, very good performance in their game against Inter Milan in the round of 16 in the Champions League. And then we have got Switzerland, the last of the base sets in the, uh, in the collection, and the last of the countries as well, before we move on to the exciting insert cards, which I'm actually doing pretty well with, as you'll see in a few moments time um so yeah here we go this is switzerland fully completed absolutely sensational a reliable team switzerland always seem to qualify for the tournaments don't they so um yeah there we go switzerland are there fully completed and then we move in to the exciting page it's quite cool how you finish the base set and then you're straight into the energies and the shield cards. It, it's quite wacky. But yeah, of course, starting with the energies, we're missing just four. So we've done pretty well, albeit we've had a few swaps every now and then. We've had uh, two or three Bellinghams, a couple of Vardioles, um, a couple of Yam Lamine Yamals. So uh, yeah, obviously we've only packed Hoyland once, Sabozlai once. And we're missing four energy cards there. I think one of them's Frankie de Jong. Um, Mitrovic, I think, is one. Bruno Fernandez, and I can't remember the one who's in the top left there. Um, but yeah, not doing too badly with the uh, the energy cards. It has to be said, uh, especially with them being what, one in thirty six packs or something like that. Um, so yeah, that, that's not too bad. However, when it comes to the shield cards, we're doing even better. We're missing just two. Uh, we're missing the one next to Kovacic, uh, which I believe is an England player. And we're missing, uh, I think it's Mitrovic again. Uh, so quite a lot of Mitrovic. I think he's got a Black Edge edition as well. So, uh, yeah, that's a bit controversial. But there we go. We have uh, got uh, all of them bar two of the uh, Chrome Shield cards. Look how good that page will look when it's fully done, especially the energy page as well. Fantastic stuff. Uh, so there we go. And then we move in to the Golden Goal Scorer subset. Uh, quite a fun little subset here. Pretty pretty easy to complete because you get probably one or two per pack. Uh, so they're fully done. All the uh, Golden Goal Scorers. Then you move into the Centurions straight after that. There we go. All the Centurions are completed as well, as you'll see on the next page where it finishes off, uh, finishes off, should I say, with Jerdan Shakiri. Then you move into the Ultimate Eleven. We've got all of the Ultimate Eleven being Donovan, Van Dijk, Pepe, Rodri, Iniesta there. you then got Luka Modric, Kevin De Bruyne, Zinedine Zidane, Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, we've got uh, Antoine Griezmann and Harry Kane completing off the Ultimate Eleven page. That is really nice. Then you move into the Legend Signatures. We're missing just two Legend Signatures. One of them is the first one on the checklist, which is Mesut Ozil. Uh, obviously, former Arsenal fan. Abache and Real Madrid player and of course Schalke if I'm not mistaken. Werder Bremen as well. Uh, yeah, went around the block, didn't he? Mesut Ozil, fantastic player. And uh, German international is missing just there before. Lukas Podolski and Nedved slash Patrick Vieira, as we know, uh, with the same autograph. But yeah, that full page, by the way, of signatures. That, how good does that look? It's probably my favourite page in the whole collection so far. Absolutely love it. Incredible subset. Probably my favourite in the whole collection, the energy, uh, the signature cards. I absolutely love them. And we're missing just here, Ricardo Carvalho, Portugal signature. And all of the other ones, as you can see there, are completed. Then we move on to the limited edition cards. These three are found guaranteed inside your starter packs. 
the Jude Bellingham, Cristiano Ronaldo, and the uh, Power Limited Edition. All three of them you'll find guaranteed in the starter pack. Then you move into the Euromaster double page spread. Look at that. Uh, we're missing three just down there. And uh, three on this page as well, as you can see, featuring Pushkas, Kostic, uh, Benjamin Sheshko there, Rodri. Uh, there's one missing there. And then, of course, this card here, or this space here, is allocated for the Cristiano Ronaldo shoe card. Will we ever find it? We'll give it a good go. Uh, but yeah, that is the last one we're missing on that page. Other than that, again, when that page is completed, how good will that look? You then go into the Blue Ice Limited Editions, the exclusive to the Tops.com bundles. We're missing the first one, which is, I believe, Kevin De Bruyne. I did order all four of the bundles, and I got given two Bruno Fernandes Limited Editions, as you can see there. Um, so that's a bit frustrating. Hopefully, we can get the KDB at some point, uh, but all the other ones there are completed. Then we move into the uh, Booster Tin Limited Editions, the Raw Talent, Shining Star, and Super Strikers. Then you got the Hot Shots from the, uh, the Mega Tins, uh, Next Gen there as well and the international icons on the next page uh, before it ends with the tactic cards which look amazing from this collection big big fan of the tactic cards they look so so good really good quality as well uh, so there's all four of the tactics guaranteed inside of your starter pack and then all of this space here is for the 100 club limited editions found in those shop exclusive multi-packs you would have seen my video uh, where we opened a few where we got the Cristiano Ronaldo unbeatable uh, so that's a beauty of a card to have it have in the collection right now uh, but yeah we are missing Kasper Michael, Gakpo, Robertson and um, Rodri so hopefully we can get them soon uh, there's the app rewards card and then from here on I'm guessing you're just waiting for the update cards and stuff like that all, uh, all the bonus cards the golden treasures whatever it's called but uh, yeah there we have it that is my binder progress so far and I have to say we're doing okay. We're doing pretty well indeed. Let us know how you're getting along with your Match Tax Euro 2024 collections down in the comment section down below. And uh, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. If you did enjoy this, make sure to absolutely smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. And of course, hit the notification bell next subscribe button. That way you'll never miss a future upload that gets uploaded to the channel. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Goodbye. Goodbye.